Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be answering a few questions that have been coming my way regarding viewers asking where the image workbench has gone in 0.21. Now I have to thank one of my patrons, David, for this because he was one of the first that made me aware of this problem and also gave a solution. Back in 0.2 and some of 0.21 versions of FreeCAD, we still have the image workbench. Now the image workbench allows you to import an image and this can be a technical drawing or reference material that we use as a reference to create our models from. So I'm just importing an image via the XY plane using the image workbench. And we can scale this by using the scale tool. We select two points and we set the distance. And then we select the image plane and hit OK. This will scale the image in the correct dimension, allowing us to keep the scale of our model to the reference material. So you can see I've done a rough rule against there and it's 213. I've done this at some distance, so this will be not totally accurate, but our image is in scale. You can see this is slightly out because I measured this at some distance. But if we go back to 0.21, we can see that the image workbench is nowhere to be seen. So it has been removed, but it's been incorporated into the import. So file, import, and we've got a much better experience with this tool in here. So if I bring in the same technical drawing and hit open, what happens is that it comes in the same. But on the left-hand side, we have our image. And if we double click it, then we get all the scaling, the planes, and all the tools we had before in the image workbench. So we've got the planes, X, Y, X, Z, Y, Z, which we can select, and we can reverse the direction quite easily. We can set offsets, and this is all done from this panel in real time. So we have a much better experience by using this panel on the left. Also to calibrate this, to scale, as we did before, we use the calibrate button down the bottom. We hit calibrate, we get a crosshair, and we can come in and select the scale. For instance, I select this one, and we get the line. We get a much better visual of this scaling and we can enter the scale within here. So if you're looking for the image workbench in 0.21, then it's all via the file import. Again, I'd like to thank my patron, David, for pointing this out to me and also showing me how to use this. I hope that's helped with everybody that's contacted me and you should see a much better experience when using this over the image workbench. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee ko at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.